everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, this is Dude Ranch DIY. Today we are in the basement slash man cave garage and we are going to be making some firewood bundles on the new Brute Force electric firewood bundler. Bundle sales and just firewood stand sales in general have been crazy lately. Um, I haven't done an update in a while so I thought I would take this opportunity while we're making bundles and talking firewood stand to just do a little update on the firewood stand. Sales have been crazy. Um, I couldn't, I literally couldn't keep up last Friday. I, or Saturday, I actually, I got home from a side job. Firewood stand was completely wiped out, empty. I went and refilled all of the loose stacks. There's four loose stack sections on the stand, and then there's room for six bundles at a time. Refilled all four of the loose stacks, came in here, started making bundles, brought out four bundles, as I brought out four bundles, a car pulled in the driveway, bought two of those bundles, came back in, made some more bundles, brought them out, another car out there. Long story short, I think I sold like 10 bundles within maybe an hour long period. And every time I came out or back out with more bundles, the bundles I had just put out in the stand were already gone. Sarah was getting a little annoyed because we had plans to go out to dinner, just the two of us. Um, and she was getting a little hangry. And I said, well, with the way that this is, the sales are going right now, I got to at least be able to fill up the stand one full time and make sure that there's six bundles there before we go out to dinner. So that's what I did. And we ended up going out and uh, she got her food and was nice again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've been using the Brute Force Bundler. My intention was, as you see here, I brought in a brand new tote. Now, all of this tote is barkless, small splits of ready to burn ash. This stuff is really nice and I separated it out from the you know bulk firewood totes with the intention of making bundles with it and it's been making some really nice bundles and it's been making using this machine a lot easier. Um, my intention was to start with a full tote and see how many bundles we could get out of a full tote um, but that didn't happen because of the rush on firewood bundles out of the stand. So today we're just going to make a couple bundles. I'm a little short on time. We have some plants tonight. So I figured I'd take some time to show you guys the Brute Force electric bundler and some little tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. So here we go. Okay, so a couple things that I've figured out. Um, one, I figured out I like to start with the roll of wrap on the right side. Now you can, you know, move it around by hand at any point, but I just like it based on the way it's loaded. The roll is loaded on you know, the, the arm here. I like to start with it on the right side. And then I basically just go in and I try and start my bottom with some nice square pieces, pieces with flat edges on the bottom. And then just kind of fill in the gaps where I can. Um, generally, I'm making bundles that are a little bit more than one full cubic foot. Um, I fill it up. I try to fill it up to like this second notch cut out here. And that has been working pretty well. One thing I just forgot now that I'm saying that is <laughs> Let me take those pieces off. Once I start the, the first row, because if you guys saw the first video that I did with this, this machine moves. It really cranks. It, it, it goes pretty fast. So I like to put the first part of wrap down on this first layer of wood and then stack the rest of the wood on top of it. That way your hand doesn't physically have to be in there reaching in and, and holding the wrap on. It tends to get caught on my sleeve or on my watch or something. Um, so I've just found that to work a little bit better for me, at least. Um, so now we will wrap this up. Maybe one more piece. Like I said, I, I really don't mind going over uh, because I want to give my customers a nice, solid, full bundle that's going to be bigger than the gas station and about half the price of the gas station. So now that I have that like that, I'm going to step on the foot pedal, which is down here. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, but 
There is a foot pedal to control this. And I'm gonna go two wraps around and then I'm going to take my label out and I'm gonna put that underneath the third wrap. So here we go. So there's two. You can see the thing moves pretty quick. And here's my third. And there we go. We got our bundle. Take our X-Acto knife. Stretch it. And we're good to go. One really nice bundle. So you can see nothing's coming out of there. Firewood, seasoned, mixed hardwoods. So as I said, the firewood stand has been doing really well lately. Um, I put out the firewood stand in, or actually in July, and it was, it happened to be July 4th weekend actually. Um, and my intention with that was that I really wanted to get it out and built for July 4th weekend. That way it would give people ample time, you know, by this time of year to get familiar with it, know that it was there, um, be accustomed to seeing it, you know, remember that it was there, and hopefully would have bought some wood um, throughout the course of the summer to try it, to try it out. And I pretty much think that I hit the nail on the head with my timing on that, on that one. Um, I got some decent sales over the summer, nothing crazy, but definitely people were buying wood and a lot of those people are continuing to buy even more wood now that we are in the, you know, winter season, so to speak. See, I did it again. I forgot to put the wrap underneath because I'm talking to you guys and that's fine, but productivity <laughs> is going to dwindle because of that. So, I'm going to take my wrap out, put it like that, and now we'll start over again, but that's all right. So yeah, as I was saying, I put it out at the perfect time. People got pretty accustomed to seeing it and buying from it, you know, whether it was campfire wood or whatever, and um, it actually has served as a pretty good advertising, like marketing tool, because I was able to get quite a bit of repeat customers asking for larger quantities. Now that we were going into the winter time, they didn't just want to buy a bundle or a loose stack, they wanted to buy a full tote or two full totes. Um, so it served as great, you know, just like roadside advertising basically. It's like a big billboard. So that worked out pretty well for me. Um, so, you know, in addition to selling wood and, and, you know, making a profit on that wood, it also, you know, if you do more than just bundles and, you know, small volume firewood, it serves as a great way to advertise your bulk sales and any other services you might offer. So there's two bundles so far. Again, we are definitely not breaking any bundle setting records here. And that is at no fault of the machine. That is totally due to the fact that I am a little distracted in <laughs> talking to the camera. But that is okay because we don't, we're not totally out of bundles and it's not a weekend or anything where I'm expecting a ton of sales right now. Although when I did get home this afternoon, there were about five high school boys, it looked like, in like a four-door Jeep Wrangler that were all helping unload one of the loose firewood, you know, stacks of the firewood stand. And uh, I think they were a little surprised when I pulled up in my town pickup truck. <laughs> they didn't really know what was going on. But um, I thanked them for buying the wood and uh, they were appreciative. They were actually very nice. So that's been good. But yeah, I found that the firewood stand has been working out really well. Um, 
better, better than expected. I, I live on a pretty busy road, but I really wasn't sure how how many sales I was going to get from it. Um, but now that the weather has changed, I've been getting a decent amount, which I'm happy about. See, once I got used to this thing, it really doesn't seem to go as fast as I initially thought. So now that we've made a couple bundles, I'm just going to quickly show you this thing up close. Obviously, the first thing you notice is the really cool fighting elks on the backdrop there. Brute force cut in to the back plate. It even says brute force there on the side with FB16, which is the model number of this here machine. Really nice, high quality wheels, electric pedal. I added on a little solo cup doodad here to hold my labels and my X-Acto knife. Adjustable stand here for varying lengths of wood. And then there are these marker indicators here on the side for your different size bundles. Really nice heavy duty arm, holds your standard roll of stretch wrap. Um, I had a couple people ask me what kind of wrap I'm using. Honestly, I can never remember if it's the blown or the cast. What I do know, and you guys can probably tell from this video, is that it's the quiet stuff. You guys would know, and I would surely know, if it was the loud stuff. I can't remember if the loud stuff was blown or cast. If you guys know, put it down in the comments section. It'll probably help out some viewers. But this stuff, I ordered directly a whole case of it from Brute Force. I have four more rolls. The bundler, when you buy one from them, does come with one 1,500-foot roll, I believe. Um, and uh, it's, it's been great. I'm really glad it's the quiet stuff. But there is a tensioner spring here to adjust you know, your tension of the wrap. I did modify that a little bit, made it a little bit tauter. Really nice, high-quality Dayton electric motor here with a belt. I don't really foresee any issues with that. I'm keeping it inside, that way to keep it out of the elements and everything. Plus, obviously, need electricity. But this thing has been great so far. So let's make a couple more bundles, and then we will call it a night. Go refill the firewood stand and see if we made any money today. That was nice. I just saw lights pull up in the driveway. Louis started barking, and uh, it was a firewood customer that I delivered firewood to yesterday. And he wasn't home, but he said that he would come and pay me today. So I got a bunch of money. I actually totally forgot that he owed me money. <laughs> so that is always a good thing. So let's get back to bundling here. video here on the brute force electric firewood bundler mostly because I'm all out of labels I gotta get some more printed up but we were able to make 11 bundles here in pretty short time I think there's still three out in the firewood stand so this should hold me over for at least the next couple days um, but yeah I mean I think you I don't know if you could tell on the time lapse there because it's pretty fast but I think I remember to actually put the wrap down on that first layer of wood, maybe about 50% of the time. <laughs> I find myself really trying to puzzle, you know, the pieces together. So I almost get excited about trying to find the next piece 
to fit it in just perfectly to make that really nice tight bundle. So I end up forgetting to put the wrap down. But if you do that, especially with this, because it does go pretty fast, it, it I have noticed it seems to help. On some of these bundles, I was going four wraps. Normally I do three, but when I have a piece with like a knot or like, like a sharp edge or something, I like to just give it that extra fourth wrap just to make sure that it's not gonna tear or anything in my customer's hands. So um, one thing I did wanna mention before we wrap up is I got a little fan mail here um, from Jack. Now Jack, I met at the Paul Bunyan show and we bonded over the fact that he is from West Virginia and I went to West Virginia University. Um, so we were talking a little bit of football and equipment and stuff. I believe he had just bought a firewood bundler and was waiting on his Easton made, I think it was a 2228 or a 1222. So Jack, if you're watching, I hope the bundler is going well for you. And I hope that your Easton made splitter is getting built and on its way, man. Um, he did say on the back of the little envelope, I am jealous of the conveyor that I got. But in the envelope, he sent these two awesome koozies. So thank you very much with his company logo on it. RTB firewood, ready to burn, easy to light, responsibly harvested. Hickory, cherry, maple, ash, poplar, oak. No pine. So thank you very much, Jack. These koozies, I'm guessing the second one is for Chris, are going to go to good use. And you know what? It's about that time. So I'm going to throw a Coors Banquet in here. And uh, let's see how it does. Oh, yeah. I think these koozies make it about five times colder. <laughs> So anyway, Jack, thank you very much for the koozies and the nice note. Um, this is the Brute Force FB16 Electric Firewood Bundler. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing by hitting that button down below. Any questions, comments, or feedback on my process here or the machine itself, feel free to drop a comment or send me an email at DudeRanchDIY1 at gmail.com. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.